Campus is very obviously empty, but Malia and I are here on this very fine Cujillo day to tell you everything that's been going on in Hawaii Athletics. I'm Emily Cervantes, and let's get into this week's Rainbow Roundup. Warrior Ball 23 is back to their old shenanigans, taking the old broomstick out of the closet and using it to sweep CSUN in a pair of matches over the weekend. The Manoa Roofing Company traveled to Northridge as the Bows tallied 23 total blocks against the Matadors and came out of the weekend dealing 11 aces. Demetrios Muglius and Chaz Galloway remained consistent, leading the way offensively. UH has officially picked up their 20th win of the season while remaining perfect on the road. The Bows will now travel back to the mainland and look to defend those stats with a pair of matches against UC Santa Barbara this Friday and Saturday. First serve is at 4 p.m. Hawaii time. A flawless weekend and a buzzer beater overtime win against a top three school? Yes, please. Rainbow Wahine Water Polo definitely made headlines after taking wins from Long Beach State 9-7 on Thursday and number three, California in overtime 9-8 on Saturday. Against the Golden Bears, Bia Montalado Diaz and Alba Bona Musa Boys led UH in scoring with three goals apiece. The real action, however, came from Bridget Leyburn, who netted the final goal in second overtime to secure the win for the Bows, launching the shot from across the pool at the sound of the buzzer, and the ball skipped into the empty goal for this incredible highlight. <laughs> It's that time of the season once again where the Rainbow Wahine will travel up to California. The Bows are set to take on UC San Diego and Cal State Fullerton with action against the Tritons starting this Thursday at 3 p.m. Hawaii time. The Les is known for its parties and the baseball Bows definitely threw three huge ones this past weekend after sweeping their series against Tulane. It started with Harry Gustin setting the tone on Friday, throwing a career high of seven innings of one hit ball. Randy Abshire matched Gustin's energy the following day, allowing for just one hit and also set a career high of eight strikeouts over six innings pitched. It was definitely a pitcher's weekend and we are not mad about it. The Bows will now jump back into Big West action and will be heading on the road to take on Cal State Fullerton in a three game series with first pitch set for this Friday at 3 p.m. Hawaii time. At the beginning of last week, 12 straight wins sounded pretty good for the Beach Bows, but after this past weekend, 18 straight wins sounds even better. The Beach Bows are on a hot streak after coming out of the Big West Challenge perfect 6-0. All-American duo Brooke Van Sickle and Kaylee Glago were the pair to beat, posting great performances to extend their own win streak to 16 straight matches this season. The Rainbow Wahine have a busy week ahead of them, remaining in California for a matchup against UCLA on Wednesday before heading to the East Meets West Invitational on Friday and Saturday. First serve against the Bruins is at 12 p.m. Hawaii time. If we're talking about hot streaks, Rainbow Wahine Tennis definitely is on one. Over the weekend, not only did the Bows power through CSUN and UC Santa Barbara, they also notched their fourth straight win, improving to 5-1 in the Big West to take over the number one spot. This week marks the Bows' final homestand, which means it's time for yet another senior celebration. UH will take on Portland State, Cal Poly, and UC San Diego with first serve set for Wednesday at 2.30 p.m. Senior day will be against the Tritons on Saturday and all the fun will start at 11 a.m. at the UH Tennis Complex. Rainbow Wahine softball was thrown a curveball on the road this past weekend, dominating against CSUN 12-3 on Friday, but ultimately fell to the Matadors in the doubleheader on Saturday to lose the series. During the opening frame on Friday, UH loaded the bases and all of them ran home after Haley Johnson hit her first career Grand Slam. Maya Nakamura followed Johnson's lead later on in the game, clearing bases from double to left center. The Bows will now come back to the islands for a home field advantage in a three-game series against UC Davis. The weekend will start on Friday at the Rainbow Wahine Softball Stadium with first pitch set for 6 p.m. Hawaii time. 
Now that we've got all of that taken care of, let's get down to the real business. If you're an incoming or current student at UH and you want to be a part of our social media team for the fall, send us a DM and let us know. But other than that, that's it for this week. I'm Emily Cervantes and this has been your Rainbow Roundup.